like it. All in the same bag. We all in the same. Fais manger. Acheter soda. Acheter pas. Good morning, guys. It is another weekly vlog. So I'm starting this weekly vlog after the holidays just because you guys will probably see me like this twice because I actually have to finish filming the ending of the vlog because that vlog is probably going to be like an hour plus long. So happy Tuesday to everyone. Starting the vlog up today. I did get dressed because we have a whole bunch of things to do. So I have my Lululemon leggings on and then I have this really cute like muscle shirt that I got from Zara I think this is Zara yeah Zara love this one it has like the um the strong shoulders and stuff so it's very basic guys I'm gonna wear my um black little Birkenstocks and that's gonna be that very natural looking today didn't do any makeup and the hair is gorgeous my new favorite curly hair from Eunice Hair Company so this is what we're looking like today the part the apartment the office is pretty clean today guys so yeah so i'm about to go ahead and grab my coffee grab some bags and head off i do need to do my nails real quick i need to do my nails for the week I had some nails that on yesterday but they were too long and they snapped in half so i'm gonna go ahead and do um just kind of like a short set for the week i basically filmed everything i just have to edit this week so that's a plus um, if I want to do like an extra hair video this week, I will. But I have two hair videos, one try and haul, and one vlog for the week. So that's great. And you guys know if I have time to do an extra, I will always do an extra. And yeah, so you'll probably get three hair videos, one try and haul, and one long ass vlog. So happy Tuesday. So I do go ahead and put on some white press on nails on from Primark. Looks really, really good. So I have these on as my nails for today. So I got all the things that I need. I did post up an Instagram reel today on this hair. This is such a bad lighting right here. Such bad lighting, but y'all can see what I'm looking like. Um, but I did go ahead and post an Instagram reel today up on this hair, and I also posted up on TikTok as well. You already know how that goes. I might actually post it on Insta on YouTube as well, but YouTube be acting real funny. Um yeah guys so i'm about to head out right now we're gonna go to at home first because i want to see if i can find a chair at, at home it's 12 13 now hopefully it's not busy but people went back to work so i can go in there real quick get what i gotta get and yeah oh it's at it's in queens at um the junction where though Yeah, so we're about to go to at home right now because 27 minutes away. So I'm going to head off right now, guys. I'll charge my camera in the car so that I will have it with me. And then after that, we're going to go to Trader Joe's and do our weekly grocery shop. Um, I haven't gone grocery shopping in like two weeks. So I think it's been like two weeks. Yep, two weeks. The vlog that you guys are about to get is two weeks worth of content. So it's a long ass vlog. So yeah, I'm basically caught up now. Since I pre-recorded on the weekend, we had a nice holiday weekend, so I pre-recorded. So I'm pretty much caught up at this point. I just have to edit videos today. So I have to edit two videos later. One that's for a brand. They'll approve it by tomorrow, so trying to hold go up tomorrow. But I have to send her the stuff today. I finished it. All the pictures will be done and stuff like that. So I have a lot of work to do, but um, it's manageable. So I just need to get this at-home stuff, if I can find it. Grocery shopping is a plus, and then, yeah. So that's what we're doing today. And at home is right here. So I gotta find parking right on this part right here. So I'm gonna park right here. I'm actually not gonna park. I don't like parking too close to other people's cars. So I'm gonna park my car right here and go to at home. So I can appreciate that there's absolutely nobody on this level. So I'm pretty sure there's not that many people here. This at home is actually in that junction. This is the gallery mall or whatever you call it. It's like in this mall area. I really don't like stuff like that. I like to just, cause I'm from Connecticut. So I just like to what i like to just pull up into like a parking lot also outdoor parking lot walk into the store this one you know malls just are just too chaotic for me so i'm about to go in here right now got my ticket let me put my ticket in my bag i'll bring the camera in with me you guys so all right guys so here goes the mall there's a whole bunch of stuff down here yeah. it's not really that many people here so i'm gonna go into Atlanta. 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 all right guys so it is empty here which i'm super happy about so i can find myself some cute little things in here Let's 
Oh, there's these ones uh, for 25% off. I do need more baskets though. I do need a basket for my closet. So let's look at them. Some pretty nice chairs here, but let's go in the section to see. A huge variety of these little beanie things, but I don't really want something like this. Cause we can't. I mean, decoration. I'm not trying to clutter my little office up. But these are really cute though. She can go for the living room. It'll be so cute. Right? No. Moving on. Let's go see what the comfortable chairs look like. This chair is pretty good at 69. Bar still lies. So, heavy duty. We will not be able to bring one of those home. But let's see. Talk about inflation. I literally went into at home and I spent $40. I got a foldable desk, a nice gold foldable desk that I showed you guys. And I also got a basket, right? That was only $40, right? I go to Chipotle and my meal comes out to $18. Mind you, I didn't get any chips. I got guac inside of my, of my burrito. Um, nothing special, regular stuff. And then a drink on the side and it came out to $18. I'm going to have to fall back on Chipotle because I've never spent... $18 on Chipotle on a drink and a, and a fucking burrito like Chipotle used to be like 12 bucks like why is it $18 I think I got a little eye cocky but Chipotle literally used to be like $12 $18 for a fucking drink I didn't even get chips y'all should just do the bag of chips in there if I'd have got the bag of chips the, the whole entire meal would have turned out to be like $22 like bruh like nah so the chair that i i did test the chair i need to go back home and look at the chair like you know i took pictures even though i just kind of like did my office a little bit different so i'm thinking about um me i'm not someone that those stuff are i really want to change the mirror but then i'm like no i'm not about to spend money on a new mirror when this mirror is perfectly fine so i kind of want to make sure that the chair kind of goes with everything i like the kind of leather cognac color i thought that was really really nice and rich you guys know my part was basically like kind of like fun colors earth tone kind of like the um farmhouse of bohemian it's more like a bohemian chic apartment you guys see what i mean um so 
Yeah, so I'm ahead. It's, oh my God. I've been here for this long. It's 136. So I gotta go. I gotta go to Trader Joe's right, like right now. All right guys, so I just got back home. So I'm gonna lay everything on the counter. So I use the bathroom so bad. It looks like it's about to rain outside and I really need to go to the Dollar Tree because we have no utensils, no plastic utensils. I gotta pee so late. You hear my foot tapping? Ah! But yeah, let me tell y'all what the fuck just happened. Oh, you guys never even saw the bathroom. I don't even think y'all saw the bathroom. This is one of the bathrooms. It has this really nice stick. What the hell? Really nice stand up shower. Anyways, so quick little bath those chronicles because I had to use the bathroom real bad. So, when I was driving, guys, I accidentally hit someone's side view mirror. I think it was a side view mirror. I'm not sure. I came around the corner. It was like in the middle of like heavy traffic and I kind of turned and all I heard was a dupe and I saw my windshield, uh, my side view mirror go pop in. I don't know what they're doing with these brand new cars, but these brand new cars, when I tell you durable, my windshield wiper, my, I keep saying windshield wiper, my side view mirror literally just popped in place and that's it. I was expecting it to tumble down and fall. I was expecting the mirror to be shattered because the sound was just like a really big boop sound. So I'm like, okay, here we go again. So when I turn to the right and I look at it at the passenger side, I'm like, oh, it looks fine. All I noticed was that the, the actual mirror itself was kind of like, off balance so I thought that okay let me just go ahead and click the rearranger so I don't know what I did but I kind of got the mirror stuck a little bit further in it's not cracked guys the light still works the sensor still works it opens and closes the light still works so I didn't break anything I literally think I just tapped somebody's savvy mirror but because I was going I wasn't going fast but I was going like maybe like 15 miles per hour so it just closed up and that's one thing I do like about that is that the savvy mirrors that I have they close on they can either flip backwards or go like this so it's durable so even if there's an impact on it it's not going to damage it because it already goes in you get what i'm saying so i don't know what kind of material they're using on these new cars but when i tell you guys the freaking side view mirror stood up like a champ i remember back like even like the older cars literally if you hit if somebody hit that the thing is off the off the stick like it's done but like i don't know this new car like new cars in general I just don't understand because the impact of the sound was like, boom, and I was like, oh, my fuck, what did I just do? What did I just hit, right? I think I hit somebody on a bike or something like that, you know what I mean? So I'm like, what the fuck did I just do? So when I realized, I'm like, bruh, that's it. But I did call the dealership because I don't want to pull the mirror and break it, you know what I'm saying? So I just made an appointment tomorrow for like 1.30 at the Brooklyn Lexus, and I just told her, I was like to her, I ain't telling her anything. I was like, oh, I just stepped outside today. I realized that my side view mirror, because it could easily be somebody that just passed by like a bicyclist and just, you know, popped the mirror out. It could be anyone, but the side view mirror does not look damaged. It doesn't look like anything happened to my car at all. So I was like to her, I think there's like a, a electrical malfunction or something like that, because the mirror is not shifting. So she'll probably know, they'll probably notice that it's pushed back a little bit, but I mean, I don't think I need to replace a side view mirror for a mirror that y'all could literally just pop open or take it apart and put it back in place. Y'all feel me? If they try to play that, oh, well, you need to replace it. I'm okay, ma'am. Thank you so much. I'll go somewhere else. Like, I'm not doing all that, but I highly doubt that's going to be the case. I really feel like they're going to be like, okay, well, you're going to have to stay for like two hours so we can just fix it. But we'll see. But like, thank God, it could have been worse. It could have been off of the thing. It could stop working, but the sensor still works on it. notices when cars are coming by. It opens and closes, and the light is not shattered. Nothing broke at all. Just the mirror is just a little pushed back in. I'm going to just have them pull it out. And it even moves, too, so I could still use a, the thing to move it from right to left. So, I mean, that's about it. So as long as those things work, I feel like the mirror is just a cosmetic. They either have to pop it out or do something about it. Of course that would happen to me today. I was having such a great day, but it's not that big of a deal. Like I said, those little things don't bother me anymore. It's just like, just call the dealership, take it in, let's see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. So I believe it's like five o'clock right now, guys. I just went running up and down the stairs. Not up and down the stairs, up and down the elevator. Um, Cause I realized how much things I had in my hand, especially the stuff I got the table from um, at home and I also got that basket. So I was putting stuff in the basket. So I want to go ahead and put everything down and show you guys everything I got. I only got like three minutes of this battery so on this memory card, so I got to clear this out or switch it out. So yeah, so that was a little bathroom chat. All right, guys, so look at all this stuff that I got today. Um, I haven't gone grocery shopping in two weeks. The vlog that you guys are going to see this week 
was two weeks worth of content. I just, it's a lot of stuff, but this is two weeks worth of grocery shopping I have not done. I basically, we basically ate every single thing, finished the last bit of chicken that we had like today. So um, this is what I got. So I got three bananas. I got some cherry tomatoes. I also got this rice orizal pilaf mix. Yo, this is blazing. One cup cooked is 310 calories. So if you're doing calorie counting, have this in a protein and some vegetables and you're good to go. Um, I also did get the sparkling drinks. I got three of this. I got four of the strawberry lemon one, and then I got two of just the ginger lemon one. Two of those. So I got six. I got my sugar free or not sugar free. My 40 calorie low calorie lemonade. I got the pink one and the regular one. I picked up some maple syrup for bay. Um, I got some spicy chunky tomato and pepper sauce, which is pretty good. I also got some light mayo from the grocery store. This is the light mayo that I use. It's 35 calories for one tablespoon. One tablespoon is a pretty good amount. So if you use two tablespoons, 70 calories each tablespoon for each slice of bread, it's a good amount of mayo. Just measure it, guys. Um, I also got some tartar sauce. I got some tomato paste. I also did pick up the spray of the olive oil, and I also got the olive oil as well too, like the actual olive oil, just because this one I use for like when I'm putting something in the air fryer under the oven real quick, and then this is just for cooking. I did pick up one of the onion salts. I also did get some black pepper because I just ran out. We got our chicken sausages. You guys know this has the pork casing. I just peel it back, and then there you go. I don't eat the casing on here, but these are really, 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 really good. It's really good. I also did get some chicken broth. I got my roasted potatoes. The roasted potatoes are back. Love these breakfast style. They work really, really well. Eggs. Um, let me show you the calories for this one. I've showed this one before. It's 170 calories for one cup frozen. So use one cup frozen and then put and cook it and you're good for 170. I also got the light shredded cheese blend from Trader Joe's. Some turkey bacon. I was not a fan of this style turkey bacon, but you guys put me on. I actually really, really enjoy this style, the uncured style. I do have some of the what's the butter ball one in the fridge, so I got this one as a backup. Um, I also did get some slice uh, baby bell mushrooms. I got some tri-colored spaghetti. Spaghetti pasta is usually always the same. Two ounces is 200 calories. I usually do three ounces to 200 calories if I'm really hungry. I got some frozen mangoes. I also did get some frozen organic berry blend because I'm going to make smoothies this week. Um, I did get this chicken teriyaki, barbecue style chicken teriyaki. Um, it's just the chicken pieces. Obviously, you have to make the rice on the side. I've never, ever had this. This one is 240 calories for one cup frozen. So that's not bad. Add a carbohydrate and some veggies on the side and you're good to go. Never, ever had this, so I'm really excited to try this. If you guys have tried the teriyaki chicken, let me know. Got my favorite, favorite, favorite roasted corn. You guys know the deal. Love the roasted corn. It's... Uh, one cup frozen for 110 calories, which is excellent. You can even add this together with this and a cup of cooked rice. That'll be perfect. I got some carrots, some green beans, some jalapenos. I also did get the Argentinian shrimp. Haven't had this in a long, long time. This shrimp is really, really good, guys. Quick meals, you know, saute that up with some veggies or whatever. So I got some of this. Um, I also did get the frozen chicken wing pack. Now, I'm someone that likes the flats. And I realized that the bag, I was kind of poking through the bags. The bag, the wings are actually normal size wings. They're not like steroid driven type of wings. So they look like regular size wings. They're frozen. Um, I, I believe the pack is like $8 or $9, which I feel like is pretty decent because they already cut the wings up for you. So if you want to make like some lemon pepper and some quick wings, just defrost them and quickly season them up. So I did get a pack this time just to make it easier for me. And like I said, if you like, if you're someone that likes flats, they had a lot of flats in the bag. So I'm like, okay, they're to get that. Um, I did go ahead and get the seasoned waffle fries. I got them last week or the week before. And these are really, really good. Uh, for the eight pieces of this one is 140 calories. So whatever way you want to have it, you can have it, which I think is great. And they do say they're seasoned waffle fries, but I will admit to you guys that you do need to put like a little bit of salt on here because it's not seasoned. Like there's no, like there's no salt. Like it's weird. They're not really seasoned. Y'all feel me on that one? Yeah. So I did get the hatch. The Hatch Chili Mac and Cheese, favorite one. This one, you split it. The whole entire container is 520. I usually split this with my boyfriend, so it's 260 a serving, which is not bad. 
Um, I did get these codfish, well, I think it's codfish with these fish nuggets. Now, my sister's been talking about um, buying fish, uh, codfish bites or tenders, um, codfish, whatever. So I was like, you know, let me go ahead and try these out. They're already crispy. For this one, I believe it's four pieces for 230 calories. So if you want to do your own little fish and chips dinner, calorie counting wise, you got four of these with some of the um, waffle fries and make yourself your own little basket at home. Um, so I'm going to try these out and let you guys know, but four pieces for 430, they're supposed to be, like I said, fish nuggets, but I feel like they'll be a good size. I'm thinking these are cod. Why they don't tell us here? Annoying. Anyways, whatever. I got a baby bag of arugula. Arugula. <laughs> My dumb ass. Um, I did get a couple of meat, so I got ground turkey, I got salmon, and I got two packs of chicken tender loins, just because that's how we like it. I got some white bread. Bay usually like, likes the white bread. Sometimes I make a sandwich here and there on the white bread. They're 90 calories a slice. I do have the 40 uh, calorie slice bread in the fridge, so I don't really, I'm not going to use this. I got bagels. I've been eating bagels. You guys will see in the last week's video I had bagels. So the bagel is 240 calories for one bagel. That's actually excellent. You can make an entire breakfast sandwich for under 500 calories with this one and be very full. Add a smoothie or like a protein shake on the side and you have like a really nice big breakfast for like a good amount of calories so something to consider these are very very good guys I put them in the fridge I got some onion and chive cream cheese in the fridge as well too which the tablespoons on that one is actually pretty decent as well too so if you haven't noticed they do have bagels at Trader Joe's everything bagels uh what's the other one cinnamon raisin but I didn't want that one I did go ahead to the store and get the three breads you know any type of Sea Town Market Food Bazaar you know the bodega style grocery stores <clears throat> They always sell the bread, so I got three rolls, the Kaiser rolls for $1.29. I got an onion and a pepper, one head of lettuce, just because I want to do some kava bowl, I want to do like a chipotle bowl, just easier meals this week, just because I'm going to be real busy editing all week long. I did go ahead and get some sauce little turkey, and I also got some cheese uh, from the deli, just because I like everything boar's head. I'm sorry, not being bougie, but the boar's head meat and stuff. Just tastes way better. I did go ahead and get the organic garlic naan crackers because I have some everything bagel dip from Trader Joe's that's low calories. So 16, oh, 16. 10 of these is 130 calories. I could use the dip for this one. These, when I tell you guys that these taste like fire, fire dog, delicious. So I think that's basically everything that I got. Should you guys all eat? Yeah, I think that's basically everything that I got this week. So I'm gonna basically have to organize everything, put everything in the fridge. I gotta put these things in the freezer. But for tonight, for dinner, we're gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna have some leftover chicken. I'm just gonna make a quick little pasta, the tri pasta. And I think I'm gonna make my own sauce, or I'm gonna just use the Trader Joe's um, spicy chunky tomato sauce and put a little bit of heavy cream in there just to make it a little bit more whippy like an alfredo. I don't know yet, but I'm definitely gonna have this tonight just to make it easy. I have one piece of salmon left in the fridge that I can cook up too, and I'll just have like a pasta with with um, with um salmon and a little bit of chicken on top. So that's what we're having for dinner, like a surf and turf pasta, yeah. Um, so yeah, guys, so that's it. I'm gonna organize everything. Up here is pretty much, I just realized, I, I went today to at home. I should have bought organizers for like the stuff you guys can see all the like the snacks my um why is it not focusing on us because i'm putting my hand there you guys can see like all my like nature nature's bakery bars and stuff like that up there peanut butter so i gotta organize this this part down here is not bad um this is the syrup that i use i think i showed this one to you guys before so this is the syrup that i use but i bought my boyfriend this one because he'll have the regular there's nothing wrong with this one but 110 calories uh, I feel like that's a lot when this one is 70 calories for what is this serve about 12 for a serve what huh no I don't even know okay whatever um but yeah so let me get this all together um here goes the collagen powder that I'm gonna use this week to make my smoothie so you guys will see tomorrow I'll make a smoothie using the collagen powder I have some frozen bananas in the freezer so I'll probably make like a banana mango smoothie tomorrow, something like that. Um, Cause we're, if you guys don't know, I'm back to working out. If you follow me on Instagram, last week I worked out three days in a row. So I'm back to working out. Um, last week I didn't really film that much. So <clears throat> that's kind of why this week I'm gonna start off by showing you guys my whole new fitness and all that kind of stuff. Working out last week was good. It was a good start. I did three days in a row. So I'm ready for tomorrow. It's gonna start three days. So I'm gonna do Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday workout. 
And yeah, so I'm in a good mood, guys. New groceries, new vibes. by saying you guys absolutely died on me when I was at the gym this morning but I had to charge you guys and then I completely forgot that I had the 1 30 appointment today to go see Lexus so luckily when I went there it was an easy fix they just popped it back in place like I thought like I said the cars are sturdy AF so I'm super happy that it wasn't like no big ordeal like oh you need to replace replace what no because I was gonna say no anyways but hopefully my nipple isn't showing that part I'll cut that part out but anyways so I'm at the house right now yes I did switch my wig because I do that these are glueless this one from RPG show wig which I'm trying to put up tonight is glueless AF like guys so I literally just plop my own. why I'm looking like that so I literally just popped her on. So right now I'm about to make myself a sandwich for breakfast. I had one banana and then the Nature's Bakery Bar. And that was that for breakfast. So I'm about to go make myself a sandwich right now. A nice little deluxe deli sandwich. I might put some of those ruffled trips on the side. Just like, I think it's like eight of them for like 130 calories. And that's going to be my lunch. For dinner tonight, I don't know what I'm having. But I think um, as far as now, I'm going to say hi to you guys now. 
but then I gotta go because I gotta edit these videos. I gotta send one to a brand so they could try to approve it by tomorrow so I could post it tomorrow, which is a try and haul. And then the hair video today, and then I have another hair video I have to edit, plus a very, 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 very long vlog. So I'm not gonna put the vlog up on Friday because Fridays, I just feel like people just be like, you know, making plans and plus I'm going out on Friday night so we're not doing that over here so I'm gonna put the vlog up on Sunday around the afternoon I realized that when I did that last time a lot of people watched it and a lot of people had time to stay there for longer so I'll put it up in the afternoon for that vlog so and then once I do that vlog on Sunday I'm completely caught up so I'll be prepared next week to start my what I eat in a week I'm just gonna combine the food and the videos from now for just this week and last week I did combine everything together so that's why the video is probably super long but um next week i'll be caught up enough just to get back for some reason i've been behind just because of traveling when i come back from, it just it really like fucks me up so um yeah so i got a little time i'll get caught up guys so i'll be caught up monday by monday i should be caught up Alright guys, so I ain't talked to you guys all day because I've been kind of um, editing and stuff like that. Now yesterday I was super productive. I got edited two videos and posted both of the videos up. So the vlog is an hour long and it's going up right now. I've just been hanging out all day chilling because I am going out tonight to a rooftop little hangout thing. It's from 8 to 2 a.m. So we're not leaving here until about 10 to get there for a few. Videos premiering right now guys, but I want to say hi. Uh, if you watch the vlog today, these are the lashes that were sent to me from um, Simone's Boutique. Um, I'll leave her information information down here she sent me these lashes in their style Dior as a matter of fact I have her information right here <clears throat> Where is it? I just had... There it goes, yeah. So these lashes are from Simone's Secret Shop. So these are the lashes she sent me in the P.O. Boxing for today's video that's going up. And they look uh, amazing. And this is a style Dior, so very, very pretty um, style lashes. So yeah, guys, just hanging out right now. I'm in the kitchen sitting down at the table. Video's about to start. I will catch you guys a little bit later when the girls come. It's so weird. Like, are you recording this? Right, he might watch it. I don't know, I gotta watch what I say. Hey, Dog, hey. I need a little gel. Yeah, I don't have any gel. Girl, I ain't got no friends. Okay, like, What is happening? Hitting me with this hard light. It better be good, my good stuff. <laughs> Y'all see Alright guys, I'm going to put you guys up on here quickly because I'm actually driving to go meet my mom. Last night was really fun. We ended up going to the party but the line was way too long so we went to a lounge and a beer garden in Bushwick and it was really nice guys. So, uh, And then we ended up getting tacos. I think I filmed a little bit of the tacos so hopefully you saw that part. But yeah, so I'm on my way to go meet my mom. We're going to do like a little shopping. Well, she's going to shop. I'm going to assist. <laughs> so I'm about to head off right now. My hair actually looks really good today. Like this wig is fire it's like fire ah and it's kinky straight with the kinky edges baby look at those kinky edges you can't tell me nothing so yeah so it's actually really hot today too and the car says it's 92 degrees but i think outside is like 90 so it's hot a f i'm 19 minutes away from my destination but once you hit manhattan that's when the traffic starts so i'm already predicting there's gonna be a little bit of traffic coming in this area especially this Chinatown area it's really really oh I wasn't even focused Chinatown area is crazy busy but yeah guys I'm feeling this here so much and I might actually go to rainbow shops today too so 
I go to Rainbow Shops. I want to do a haul because you guys keep asking me for a haul. So I'm going to do a haul from Rainbow Shops. Try to create some little looks for you guys as well. So we'll see. If I can get back to Brooklyn, I'll probably go to Primark tomorrow. I'll probably go to the mall tomorrow early, right when it opens. But I'm probably most likely going to go to Rainbow Shops today because I really don't have that much to do. I'm going to clean up a little bit and just relax today and hang out at the house. Yep, and prepare videos for next week. That's what I got to do. Run through. I got to edit two hair videos for next week. And yeah. Everybody is the mom. Stop, my mom got a haircut, guys. Yes. Mom, it's right here. This is what a wholesale shop looks like in New York, guys, in the fashion district. Take steps like this. Yes. Down the stairs, we take steps like this. Really, chupet, really, lot moon go fermage. Ashte soda. Ashte party. Why are we talking about a funeral? Oh, maybe let me. My mom got a new bag today. It's cute. Look at this little fanny bag. <clears throat> than any other brand over the past eight years with optional front crash prevention and specific headlights. So how does Hyundai stay at the forefront of safety? By always... Alright guys, so I got this much. Let's try. So this whole compared to stuff don't look a stick it even 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 mess because there's a possibility. Okay, so this one, decent. I like it. It's pretty, got like orange, blue, and brown in it, so. I don't know. What do y'all think? $20? But I do like the colors, and how it's striped, and the little cone part. But you could adjust the strips. I may adjust the strap. Just to, you know, I mean, they look fine, but so. Love it. Love this one. So cute. This is 
hella casual, too. All right, so I'm gonna end the vlog right here. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I showed you guys when I went to Rainbow Shops and all that kind of stuff. So whatever I got will be in a try and haul that will be up before this vlog goes up. So hopefully you guys to go ahead and watch that try and haul. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it, guys. Thank you guys for all the love on the last vlog that I put up. And make sure you guys catch up with all my videos. Everything will be left in the cards for you guys. So yeah, so I'll catch you guys later. Bye.